How's it going? Haven't made a video in a while, but uh, this should be a good one. We're dealing with approximately 850 meter to one kilometer drop across 18 poles. And uh, right now I'm at the third pole. The MPT is at that pole over there, passing that big tree. So we're coming across there, here, there, and then 15 more poles. So I'm going to document a little bit of me trimming some trees that are in the way and showing the path and then maybe some climbing. But uh, yeah, just doing a little prep work today and uh, hoping to clear the path fully. It's a pretty, pretty nice hike. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Fucking scared the crap out of me. Holy shit, I thought that was a bear. Fuck. I have my AirPods in.
Okay, a little bit of a progress video. Um, just going to be doing this incrementally up the hill. I've uncoiled the 600 meter drop all the way up. And uh, this, we just completed the first spin. Just had to clear some trees there and cut some branches to allow the, the proper height. And that's the next pole and then we're start climbing. So I'll see you guys up there. Okay, we're up and we're starting the first climb. As you can see, I have a long way to go. From here, I can only see the next three poles and there's like five more after that. So uh, we're getting started. I'm all hooked up, ready to go. Just wanted to document maybe the first pole. Not sure how much I'm gonna capture, but uh, yeah, wish me luck. I'm very far from being fit enough to do this, but uh, we'll see. It's a 50-50 chance I have a heart attack by like the fourth pole, but uh, we'll see. So here we go. Okay, we're down from the first pole, hung up nicely. I'm heading up to the second pole, enjoying my heavy breathing. Not only am I carrying about 60 pounds of equipment, harness, spurs, also I have a pouch full of these clamps that weigh a ton. So this should be fun. I'm already exhausted. My Apple Watch thinks I'm having a heart attack. Some of these poles look a little sketch. First things first, we want to touch this. We don't want to forget that. Couple more pulls up. Started down there. 
Whew. Not so fun, but we're getting through them. This is a skinny ass pole. <sighs> Making some progress. Two more pulls over. Oh boy. Alrighty, so we made it up to the top. We have one pole there, one pole there, three, four, I think five and six before we head back down towards the customer's house. But I'm gonna leave it at this for today. Tomorrow I'm back with the bucket truck where we're gonna do a aerial splice to continue on this drop and extend it another 300 plus meters to the customer's house. I have about maybe 100 meters on there but there's no strand going forward to do the splice so it has to be done here i'm going to finish cutting down that tree and uh yeah be able to reach this pole with the bucket and then reach that pole with the bucket so we should be good to go all right so we're back it's the next day um, I'm waiting for the bucket to show up so we can do the splice over there, but in the meantime I'm gonna unspool that that uh, Or unclose that spool rather get it all the way down hopefully to the house or close There's gonna be a point where I have to use the copper to pull it through some trees. I'm gonna bring this along To try to clear the path a little bit might need to use a chainsaw, but Yeah, so I'm just gonna get going Bring it down here Let me go. Those prints hopefully are not a cougar. I don't like the look of that. Those are definitely dog. Some sort of cougar. Definitely not a deer. Really wonder what those are. Just gotta be careful in the bush in BC. There's lots of them. It looks like there was two of them. Doesn't seem like a cougar. Okay. Let's get down here. So this is the point where we're gonna use the copper, I think, to pull through the trees. Oh yeah, totally. Quick little update, got it hung up the last span coming up the hill. The bucket's here, we're gonna do the splice there and then continue on.
Okay, we're up in the bucket. We have this hung up to the mid span. And right now we're just trying to cut this tree and grab the fiber from that end. See how that goes. Bucket's definitely not gonna reach the pole, but we're gonna do our best. Ideally, I, I thought it could, but now that it's here, I've changed my perspective. Success! Okay, so we're back up at the strand and right now we're just working on getting the bow tie put up. Okay, so we're here at the end of the line. Um, when I finished that day on the Sunday was pitch black, so I couldn't uh, I couldn't take any footage. But so here's my attachment point. I came down the wall. It's a little weird, but we're all hooked up. Everything's good to go. The customer's really happy with their service, and uh, yeah. So that whole path, we cleared a lot of trees through there. Let's see if I can get some footage of it. So here you can see some remnant remnants of all the trees I cut all along the path. It was quite a bit. There's all these big trees here. Just so much right along the whole path. And that goes back a whole span to the next pole but uh, yeah I'm gonna go take some footage from up there and uh, see you over there okay so here's a shot showing the roadside before we head down the mountain back towards the house um, from that pole there's one span to the pole in the middle of the trees there that I cut down and then the house so we're coming about 150 meters to here then another nice 70 meters up to this pole and up across one two three more poles so uh, yeah let's head up there okay so we just started at that pole right there came up one more span and then across to here there you see my line across and up there you can see where i did the aerial splice in something called a gator enclosure and uh, a little bit of a bow tie action to handle the slack all of that gets released and brought down into where we're going to splice and then hung back up into that formation and that's where the 600 meter drop connects to another 450 meter to be able to reach the full distance to the house cut some more trees here and then across this pole and then down about 550 meters before getting to the nap or mpt so yeah, this is the end of the video. Um, I ended up running this drop. It totaled just over 850 meters. I had uh, pretty much a full day of cutting trees, another full day of me just unspooling the cable up the mountain and uh, climbing the poles, getting it up to this road where I'm at now. And then the third day we strung it along here did the aerial splice continued it on and then brought it all the way to the house and then finished it there finished around 6 p.m on sunday so it was really dark couldn't get a lot of footage and uh yeah so i'm going to include some snippets of the the rest of the drop and uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and um yeah i'm hoping to produce more more videos soon just have to uh get some good drops done thanks for watching